So, I had a couple guys that wanted me to show them the inside of the, some of the shelters. This here is just the Dieppe shelter. Back there would uh, be the wood storage. All the shelters have a fairly good sized fireplace. Whoever, on a busy day like Saturday, Sunday, or holiday, uh, the first guy will come get the fire going really good and then as people come they keep adding fire so it stays warm in here the whole uh, the whole weekend so a couple of the sponsors we have a huge uh, drying rack that probably one of the uh, one of the people from the club made all kinds of hooks that's the bar I guess a few Bud Light cans and they got uh, the lights and everything are on a timer, so you get all these LED lights. They give you just a little bit of light, but uh, that's all you need at night. So yeah, this here is the Dieppe shelter. Nice size uh, pallet burning pile there. <laughs> Until they had a big party, uh, a big ATV rally here not too long ago, and had a big fire, I guess. So. Anyways, we'll get uh, back on the trail and uh, I'll show you a few more of the other shelters that we have. This from my last video there, the covered bridge. The trail goes right through here, just kind of cool. We've actually got a lot of these in New Brunswick. It's uh, one of the things this province is known for, for sure. Stop and get a quick picture here. This wild country saloon, uh, the old bar and stuff here. It's kind of a cool old spot. It's been a few things over the years, apparently. It's pretty worn down looking now, though. Anyways, you better uh, get back on the trail. Just right over here. Actually, get a snowstorm tonight around 
25 to 40 centimeters. I'll probably do the Google conversion and put it in inches for the America down there. But yeah. Just uh, get across the farmer's fields here. As long as you stay on the trail, they don't care. Well, I just met a uh, nice older guy there, Jerry was his name, on that white Honda that just pulled in just as I did. He's out here cutting some firewood. Uh, he lives in an off-grid cabin actually out here. He's got a little trail, he goes in there and cuts wood, that's all his land. Real nice guy, he takes care of the shelter here. So this is the uh, Memorum Cook Shelter. I forget the name of this one. But, uh, yeah. So this is her. Back there is where all the wood storage is. There's lots of seating and stuff. Got the nice fireplace, the drying rack. Uh, there's a solar panel on the roof. And the car battery right here to a connector. And then we get all these LED lights that uh, are on timers and stuff. So if you wanna crank up the LEDs. They're actually pretty bright for just being small little LEDs. So yeah, this is the inside of the shelter. And they got uh, trail maps. So this is my little area, zone six they call it. Remember when Cook's down here. So yeah, Skadook, that's probably where I'm gonna head that way. Dieppe, that's where I live. And then the Riverview trails that I go on sometimes. But yeah, if you guys, hopefully it shows up on the GoPro, all those little squiggly lines that you see, those are all just uh, snowmobile trails here. And then obviously in the summer, they're ATV trails. Kind of give you a, so zone six, seven, four, five, three, two, and one. To give you guys some sort of a idea. So I'm here, Memory Cook, where the little shelter thing is. Hope this is showing up. DF is here. Caledonia Mountain, that's where my friend's cabin is. We go up there all the time. Uh, there's Fundy Park, and right where this little spot is, that's where I went camping that time uh, with Jordan and, a, and another time in my truck. So, yeah, Poly Mountain, I've been up there on my ATV, the top of the ski hill. That's in the Sussex area, so all those little lines, those are all different snowmobile trails. So yeah, just stopped and talked to uh, the old guy there for a bit, real nice guy. Had to talk about Chaga and his off-grid cabin, and he's been there for almost 30 years. So yeah, we're going to, uh, I just had a little drink of coffee. And uh, we're going to hit the road, I guess. some moose tracks there for a while and I came across a pile of crap. You can see he's walking around here back and forth it looked like. Might have heard uh, skidoos or four wheelers and got nervous. It's pretty cool to see a uh, moose today. I didn't really think I'm just still going on that same trail. These these moose tracks are real fresh like maybe even today. And they're heading off this way, so you never know, we might see one. Wow, 
Well, a bunch of different trails here. Uh, I was on uh, a turn toward, to go towards Shediac, which is the way I thought it was supposed to go, and that was the way I seen all those uh, moose tracks and stuff. I just did a full 360 here in the trail. Not on purpose either. But yeah, and I didn't recognize the trail, so I turned around and came back and started going this way. And I know for sure this isn't the, uh, the way I went uh, with my buddy Adam. But I figured, hey, maybe it'll take me out to the same place few moments later. Well guys, I just uh, pulled off the side of the trail here instead of just driving around and burning up all the gas that I have left and uh, not actually finding the trail I wanted to find. I uh, just decided to go back sort of the same way I came and pull off here on the side of the trail. Get the fire burning down here to get some coals and I got uh, a fairly good sized steak to cook up. I was hoping to have it by that river where me and Adam were in our last video, but couldn't quite seem to find the that trail. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? I can't remember it. And, uh, yeah, I only have like a half a tank of gas left too, so I didn't bring any extra, and I don't want to push it. Definitely don't want to get stuck out here tonight. It's fairly cold, so. Yeah, we're going to have some coffee and cook up a hunk of meat. Steak still cooking there. I had to cut off a little taste tester. Pretty much well, perfectly cooked. It's a pretty thick steak, so uh, hopefully it uh, comes out good. Try not to be too jealous. The snow is really screwing me up, though. My uh, my grade is. Uh, sinking trying to keep the meat away from the flames still fairly pink right there in the middle that's the way I like it Like I said, I was planning on having this meal by the river, just a little nicer setting, but still nice and juicy, not over overdone or dried out. Yeah, just going to let that burn itself out and then I'll uh, kick snow all over it, make sure that's totally out. Eat up my meal here and get myself a cup of coffee, there's only a little bit left. I've got late in the day, so I'm not sure exactly what time it is right now. Uh, 3 o'clock exactly, so it's taking me a little while to get home after I eat this, so better get eaten. Well, the fire was pretty much out. I buried it over with snow, so that'll melt down onto it and definitely put it out. Everything's cleaned up and put away. 
I threw the uh, fat cap and whatever is left along the side of the bone there for the critters or scavengers. You guys can see a uh, moose print here next to my foot. Hopefully I'm in frame, it's hard to tell. It's not a huge, huge moose, but fairly decent size. You walked right up through and I've seen lots of uh, moose on here, which I didn't really expect. I didn't think there was uh, that many moose down this way, but seen lots of sign. But anyways, we're going to hit the trail again and uh, head back home because we're supposed to be getting a snowstorm and I don't really feel like being caught out in that. Other than a few little sticks and uh, some uh, tracks from my bike and my feet, can't really tell I was there, which is what you want. Make sure you pick up after yourselves. So in my last video there, I said uh, that that bus reminds me of a uh, magic bus from a movie. Shut up, I'm taking you out to where we're going. Where are you going? I told you, we're going nowhere! No longer to be poisoned by civilization, he flees. And walks alone upon the land to become lost in the wild. Uh, had some people think it was a song, and other people thought it was the magic school bus at kids show, which those aren't correct, but I got one guy that got it right came from the movie Into the Wild. So yeah, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my GoPro battery dying. Uh, they came from the movie Into the Wild, which is one of my favorite of all time. If you guys uh, haven't seen it, you should uh, borrow it, rent it, or probably on demand or on Netflix. It's a really good movie. Not an action movie or anything like that. It's a slower movie. It's really good though. Based on true stories. So check that movie out. I'm just going back to the truck here now. Uh, about 75 kilometers today. Alright guys, I'm just back to the truck here. Uh, loaded up. Heading back to the house. Might stop and get some gas for my bike and the snowblower seeing as we're getting some snow. I uh, just want to say thanks for uh, tuning in again as always and uh, hitting the like and subscribe button. Appreciate that. I'm just about to a thousand subscribers now, which is awesome. I can't believe how fast uh, you can get up there if you start putting out the content. Uh, probably going to do a giveaway when uh, when I get to a thousand. Don't know what I'll give away yet, but probably be a bunch of small things. Either one, one big prize or uh, three small ones or something like that. I don't really know yet. Probably one big, that way I don't have to pay a bunch of shipping. But, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for all the subs, likes, comments. I really appreciate it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.